Welcome to the show day video. Woke up probably a good hour ago. Feel great. Felt like I woke up tight, super tight in the core. Just gotta maintain fullness, and then uh, you know, I feel like I'm pretty dry. So super excited. I'm trying to give you guys an idea on how I feel mentally. Um, just feels like another day for me. I don't really, I didn't really feel nervous last night. I had no issues going to bed. Like slept pretty well. Got like a good five hours, and I'm just ready. Um, just competition at the end of the day. So. Whatever happens, happens, and you know, the life goes on. So I'm just gonna go out there, have fun, do my best, showcase my physique, do what I can, and uh, we'll see how it plays out. Obviously, I'm gonna do my best to win, because obviously I'm competitive, but we'll see where it lines up. You know, we're going against 71 other guys, and it should be fun, and I'm super stoked to show you guys this process. And I just wanna take the time to thank everyone that's been following this journey. I really, I really appreciate all of your support, and, uh, it means a lot to me, so I'm gonna do my best to try to win the show for you guys. So, I'm gonna take you guys through the day, show you guys what we do, and we'll be on stage probably in the next two hours. So, very, very excited to showcase my physique. Heading to get our uh, second coat of tan. So I should be a lot darker with this coat. Yesterday was kind of like a base coat. So right now we're gonna really darken up for the show. Get the real show tan on and uh, just counting down, you know, the time until I get on stage. So I'm just trying to really make sure everything's calculated from when I eat. I mean, water was already eliminated yesterday, but uh, I feel pretty good, man. I'm stoked. I just hope uh, I look the way I should on stage. But I think the lights are gonna be really bright. So, I just hope I don't sweat on stage. That's why I was posing for a good bit, almost kind of like doing like a, like a pre-judging before pre-judging, just so I can sweat everything out. Cause usually I always look my best at final. So I was thinking like if I did some posing beforehand, sweat wherever I could out, which I did sweat a little bit, which is good. Then by the time pre-judging comes around, I was already, kind of like going through that routine. Nope. Tan up and ready to go. Just gotta do my hair. And get a meal in. I think I just gotta get one more meal and then uh just let my body digest. So this is pretty much like the way I view it. It's like this is my pre-workout meal, like pre-training meal. Mm -hmm. Get a little meal in and then mini pump backstage and then pose. What are you going to use for carving off? Hmm. What am I going to use for carving off? Some pizza? Pizza? Yeah. Should I? Nah. Put some simple. On it. Uh, nothing really changed. I just keep food sources the same throughout prep. Like when you get close to a show, don't do anything drastic. Keep it very simple. Do the same things that you have been doing. And um, you know the response of like how that's gonna be. So you don't wanna just come in on show day and have pizza. Unless you have been eating pizza throughout the whole entire prep and you know how you respond to it. But I would make my own pizza if that was the case. But then travel, you can't make your own pizza. So just avoid it at all costs. But I'm uh, gonna hold, go back to the room, get a meal in, and then I'll uh, just chill out until pre-judging. It's game time. Heading to uh, the venue right now. It'll be at the expo. So, it should be a crowd. So, it's gonna be a lot of good energy. And uh, I just can't wait to get up there, man. Just show everybody what I've been working on. So, next time you guys see me, I'll probably be at the expo and be with my family and friends. Sisters and friends and family. Let's 
regardless of what happens, right? Yeah. What is one message you will tell Steve? Steve, I'm proud of you. I know you killed it. It wasn't easy the last 16 weeks, but I know you put yourself through the two a days. Um, keep grinding. Keep focused. I'm proud of you, dude. Be proud of you. No matter what happens, Steven, I'm so fucking proud of you. You worked your ass off day and day um, to get to where you are. So whatever happens, happens, but you're still number one in my heart. I love you. I think, I think he has the best work ethic on that stage. Regardless of the outcome, he definitely works the hardest out of any athlete I know. And regardless, you know, I'm so proud of him. You know, he's he's grown so much throughout his fitness journey. And, you know, this is the biggest stage in the world. So I, I believe he has what it takes to, you know, solidify his mark right here, right now. And I just can't wait to see everything unfold. Since you know the show's over and I didn't make it to finals, now it's time to get fat, dude. So like, first thing on the list, what are we about to eat? Burger? Burger? I'm probably gonna do like a, I'll do a single patty burger with some fries, with a nice soda. Actually, I'm gonna do a beer, because I feel like this has been a long prep. And I did text my coach and I said, I'm pro I promise I'm gonna be better next year, so. Just gonna enjoy this trip while I can, and you know I have a lot of friends and family here. I'm not gonna dwell on like how I did because competition is competition, like I said, and it is what it is. I can only get better, and I feel like I learned a lot with this prep. And ultimately, that's what it is. It's all about experience, gaining that knowledge of whatever it may be, and you know, you challenge yourself when you set a goal. And you know, this was my goal to make it to Olympia. Obviously, the goal was to win, but it's very stacked. You know, you're going against the best guys in the world, so. Um, seeing these guys backstage gives me a lot more insight on what I need to work on and next year I will be better so just gonna take it year by year and keep in, keep on improving. What is that? This? Yeah. I think it's soda. Right? What it tastes like? Soda? Oh. What is it? And uh, it's hard seltzer. Look, oh, whoa. Wait, wh why white claw? I don't, I don't feel like getting bloated because I'm about to eat a burger, so this should be good. So I got a milkshake and a burger with bacon. So it turns out me and Steve got to put on some size, right? So we got to do whatever it takes, 5 percent right? Whatever it takes. The burger is so long, dude. This is crazy. Take a bite, Steve. Huh? 
I'll take your bite. Cheers. We should get that. Cheers. What does it taste? Your water was five bucks. I know, I thought like it yeah. makes sense. Who would you rate that? Mm. One more, one more, one more. <laughs> Eight point five. Eight point five? What would you rate it? Everybody, he's saying that because he's hungry. I would say, you're not hungry. Since, you're not hungry. I feel like there's a lot of nice burger spots in Vegas, so I'm gonna go with a solid seven. Seven. I feel like because he's full. He he been eating all day. Like he competed a few days ago, so he's his his judgment might be off because he's full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm desensitized, right? Right now, the dopamine's not hitting. I'm just right now. I'm just eating just to eat. Like this is just food for me. For him, it's like luxury. It's like a luxury. Yeah, I'm eating. I'm actually trying to enjoy. Like this is like a review, an actual review. Eight point five. <laughs>